perhaps David was tired. Hallelujah. Maybe David was there. Ah, hallelujah. And maybe in his last battle, he was fighting tired. Hallelujah. Have you ever been there? Have you ever, ever had to be swinging ah, and going although you're tired? Fighting tired, frustrated and fighting, bewildered and fighting, ah, surrounded and fighting, fighting and you can't face another day, fighting and you have no support system. So maybe David succumbed to weariness. Hallelujah. Understand that he could also have been traumatized. There is trauma that is associated with our warfare in mentally, uh, spiritually, and in emotionally drains you. So understand that there is no way you can go to war and it does not impact you. There is no way that you are going to go to war and there are no casualties. Hallelujah. Understand that David was subjected to a whole lot of psychological warfare while he was running away from Saul. He had taken a lot of blows in his life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah and he knew what it meant to bleed in every conceivable area of his life. Have you ever been there? Have you ever been bleeding emotionally and bleeding mentally and bleeding spiritually and nobody seems to know? Maybe, just maybe, David did not want to subject himself to another bloodbath. Hallelujah. Maybe he was in a frame of mind that he calculated the risk of war and figure that it was not worth it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Perhaps the, the losses in war became so great that he began to think that even if he won, it was going to cost him too much. Hallelujah, maybe he lost some good soldiers on his way to the king, uh, uh, to the kingdom. He lost some good soldiers on his way to the palace. Uh, he had to bury a friend. He had to bury a family member. Hallelujah. Maybe the stench of death and destruction on the battlefield was in his memory and in his mind. Hallelujah. And he was traumatized. Maybe he was having nightmares, post-traumatic stress disorder because of all of the things he had gone through. Hallelujah. 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 Maybe David calculated. Hallelujah that long after boxes are won. Oh, it took him a while to become to, uh, to come to a place of normalcy. Understand that when you are on a battlefield and your battle is over and you win the victory, that when you put down arms, brothers and sisters, there is another level of warfare. You have got to fight to get back to normalcy. You have got to fight to get back out of the place of war. Because if you do not get back to a place of normalcy. You will turn a gun in your home. You will be fighting when there is nothing to fight. You will be in a frame of mind that you are paranoid and agitated and everything becomes a battle. So when David laid on arms on a battlefield, he had to fight for his mind. He had to fight for his emotions. He had to fight for his will. He had to fight for normalcy. And so Sometimes, brothers and sisters, the hell that you go through ah, just to win a battle can knock the taste of victory right out of your mouth. And so victory does not feel like victory because all of the losses and all of the torment that you go through just to get to the next level may make you feel like this is not victory. And so brothers and sisters, maybe, just maybe, David it was contending with all of these things. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.